So today I wanted to do a little review of this bag right here. This is a classic and nothing could be any classier than the Lady Dior or if we're going to get technical, the Shushu bag. For the longest time I thought this bag was designed by Galien because it was very popular just in the time when he was at the Maison. However, this bag came out just a year before Gianfranco Ferre left the Maison and before Galien arrived. If we go to the Dior ads from back in the day, they were very LA specific of the era of the 90s. So this bag was designed in 1995, Galliano arrived in 1997. Specifically, this bag is from the Raf Simons era. This bag was purchased in Holland, Amsterdam, five years ago. Five years ago, I think. This is a bag that it's from somebody in my family. She very kindly lent it to me to recreate this moment, this project that I started because I was bored. Wanted to play around with this bag. She has used this a lot. But yeah, this is a very beautiful bag. I believe the new models have the flap. And there are feet on the bottom. This is the exact same size as my laptop. I could believe I could fit the laptop in here. Because of the zipper, it is kind of impossible because the opening is kind of closed. I remember that when I was in Paris and I worked for second hand in a consignment store, we had a mini one and that mini one was very hard to get into and I know that's why they redesigned it with the little flap because if I open this there's not too much space to go here even though this is like a big bag and it opens kind of wide this has a very beautiful red fabric interior and there is just one zip pocket in the back the little tag and the numbers in the back otherwise this is just a big box square bag yeah, for the years this has been in use, this has held almost perfectly. Even though this is soft calfskin, this is not textured leather, and the only thing is this is slowly losing its shape, squareness, but this is very soft, and that's why this is kept in its box with all of the dust bags to help it keep its shape and the beautiful pool has the CD emblem. This is a huge box. This is a large Lady Dior, 32 centimeters wide, a close-up. The beauty of this bag, how it is built to create the A shape. A Lady Dior bag is built with a wooden structure to help create that box shape. And I've seen so many people mention that this is a print. No, that is a stitching with the canache design. Canache structure comes from the rattan chairs that were so popular in good old France. When the handles are laid and left, they create the CD, the Christian Dior. The zipper pool also has Christian Dior initials. And the process to shape this is an artisanal craftsmanship. R shaped with a leather insert. I really recommend you to go and see the official Lady Dior behind the scenes. This bag can be worn on the crook of your arm or held by the handle. Want to see the wear and tear of the bag. This is the bag. This is a family heirloom that I hope gets passed along in my family for, you know, generations to come. You know, this is a classic and I believe it's still available everywhere. This is the equivalent of a 255 by Chanel. So yeah, this is a forever classic. Even though small bags were a thing, I think that this is a good shape for every day. Just to give a little bit of context. The lady who owns this bag, she wears it casually, dressily, even though she has a lot of bags. She loves this one, so it's, it's definitely an investment. Even though this is a big bag, it never looks dressed down. Ladies still love their big bags and their big checks and their big fat 
bank accounts. As much as we love a small bag, now with the panorama, this kind of bag to hold everything we need to prepare ourselves to go back to the world, this is good, you know? So yeah, I hope that this was useful. Until the next one, bye!